Have you ever used a carbon fiber mouse pad? I can honestly say that this is a, it's definitely a pretty unique experience. Definitely slower and controlled in a different way because you can feel your mouse like run through all the little bits of carbon fiber as you move your mouse left to right on your pad. And honestly, it is a pretty different feeling. Like it feels pretty nice, but it's also a bit weird and something that you definitely have to adjust to. And this pad I do think is actually pretty cool for what it is because we're taking something that, you know, typically is used to make like cars and stuff like that that are much lighter and definitely geared toward performance. But does this actually help you out in game? Well, maybe it depends on what you play. If you play an extremely slow paced game where you need to have a lot of control, then this pad probably can help you out quite a bit. If you play a lot of Valorant or CSGO, I definitely see how this pad could be used to help improve your game. But if you play a lot of fast paced FPS games, then this could help you if you are like an arm aimer and you move your arm quite a bit all over the pad it can definitely help you out quite a bit because you will have a little bit more control and you'll be able to stop on a dime but if you're a wrist aimer because of the low speed of this pad it may or may not be the best choice for you it just depends on how much control i guess you have and how strong your wrist muscles are if you are going to be using this if you apply really any amount of pressure to the pad because if you just apply like a light amount of pressure just aiming with your wrist you'll be able to aim but probably not as well as you would like so definitely you're going to have to move your arm a little bit more to really unlock the full potential of this mouse pad because it's going to be a much different experience even using a slow cloth pad even if you're used to using a slow cloth Cloth pad once you feel the texture of this pad obviously in your hand and also when you move your mouse across the pad you're definitely gonna know what I mean because it does not feel anything like a cloth pad at all this mouse pad is from ID gaming I will leave a link to their website in the description below they're based out of the UK and this mouse pad is 179 British pounds which translates to about 245 US dollars which is uh, quite expensive definitely is pretty expensive but but this is a luxury item like if you're looking for something that really add to the aesthetic of your desk especially if you're a huge automotive fan this really could spice up your desk a little bit and honestly i would definitely use this like at work or something because i just think that it looks really really cool having this carbon fiber mouse pad I, honestly i might take it to work because this thing looks really sick but the pricing is it's a little expensive but it looks amazing and on the back you got this quality alcantara backing that on my desk it actually doesn't slide around that much so that was pretty surprising because i'm thinking you know alcantara it's pretty soft i'm thinking it's gonna slide around but it actually had a pretty decent amount of grip on the desk where i was confident like once i had my keyboard or mouse on it it wasn't moving anywhere and it was not distracting or sliding around at all if 180 dollars for the large size of this mouse pad uh, doesn't fancy you then they do have a smaller size which is really tiny honestly i wouldn't get it but it is about 100 british pounds which is probably like 130 ish bucks us i didn't do the conversion for that one i just only checked it for the big one but biggest thing that i would like to say about the carbon fiber mouse pad is that i would love them to make a bigger version of it preferably 400 or 450 millimeters tall instead of 300 because this one is 300 millimeters tall it's 800 millimeters long and i don't really mind that it's 800 instead of 900 but having a bigger size with 900 by 450 would be absolutely fantastic as far as pricing i would love for the price to not be that much more expensive than this one but we know that's not going to happen so like realistically i would love it to be like 299 us i think that would be a pretty fair-ish deal especially for the build quality of this pad because largely there are no imperfections with this pad at all and it feels like real carbon fiber because it is real carbon fiber now let's just say that this particular pad from id is way out of your price range and for a lot of people it probably is they do have a ton of other options as far as cloth pads like they do have some cloth pads that are in between 20 to 30 british pounds and they do feel and perform very good as well like honestly i would say that this is like maybe just above regular desk pad quality like from novel keys or something like that this feels just a little bit faster so it is a little bit better for gaming but as far as the print quality the print quality i do think is very good as well in terms of the design especially on this one i think like the concept of it was to kind of be pretty retro and faded a little bit but the other one that they sent me this sasuke desk pad this one is not necessarily the highest resolution does it still look good yes would i still use it for b-roll for sure would i game on it absolutely the theme looks great the print quality though on this one i do think could be a bit better though it's not the sharpest 
and I do think that the vibe of this one definitely makes a lot of sense, but I would like to see the print quality of the Sasuke pad improved, and I would assume that the other like anime theme ones or whatever are probably pretty similar. But otherwise, for the pricing, I don't think that they're bad, especially because they do have a lot of like really nice themes. Um, I don't love the fact that on the graphic pads that they have the ID Gaming logo at the bottom left of the pad. That's not my favorite. Man, I wish that it was like, you know, a lot smaller. That would be nice as well. They got to chill on the stroke around this. Like in Photoshop, you got to, you guys got to chill on that a little bit, okay? But otherwise, I would say that these pads are definitely very usable for gaming with no issues there. But if you guys are interested in these mouse pads from ID Gaming, especially the carbon fiber one, I'll have a link for you in the description below. Check them out if you decide to pick one up. Hit me up on Twitter and let me know what you think of the carbon fiber mouse pad and you tell me if it was worth it for you or not. Do I think the carbon fiber mouse pad is worth $250 just about US? See, this is the thing. If it was bigger, I could definitely justify it. But with it being not as tall as I would like, like it to be for $250 I can't honestly tell you that I would buy it unless I was using it for like strictly work and aesthetics but I would still prefer a larger mouse pad so if it was like 900 by 400 millimeters and the same price or maybe slightly more money like less than 299 is like the maximum capped out limit of like what I would even consider spending. But if they made one that was 900 by 400 or 450, that was let's say 200 British pounds, which would probably be around 260 bucks. I definitely think that that would be a lot more fair in terms of like a price to performance ratio of getting a nice size pad. That's also very unique. But that's all I got for you guys. Thank you for ID Gaming for sending out these pads for review. Definitely a, a little bit different checking out that carbon fiber pad, but I definitely do love the design of this uh, um, I don't know what whatever this is like this is some kind of Asian inspired thing I'll put the actual name of it on the screen right now but if you guys enjoyed drop a like subscribe if you guys are new to the channel as well thank you again for watching check out ID gaming in the description below and I'll see you in the next video